In this video, I'm going to take you through Uphold, the digital money platform. Welcome to Everbit Helps. I hope you find today's video useful, and if you do, then please give it a like and share. Plus, for the latest information on Uphold, please check out everybithelps.co.uk. It's been a while since I created an Uphold tutorial, so I thought I'd take you through the platform today as they've since upgraded to a new web app and added some new features. If you want to find a nice and easy way to trade between cryptos, US equities, currencies, and precious metals, then Uphold is potentially a great platform to use. Since Uphold was launched in 2015, it's enabled its 1.7 million members worldwide to buy, sell, hold, and convert 36 cryptocurrencies and stablecoins, 27 national currencies, and four precious metals, all in one easy to use account. Unlike competitor platforms, users can trade directly between any of these supported assets, helping you to reduce your fees, plus saving you time and money. And the blockchain integrated platform makes it possible to send any currency to virtually anyone, anywhere, instantly. They boast to have 0% trading fees, deposits and withdrawal fees, plus a super easy to use new interface, which allows you to move money from your bank into Bitcoin in seconds. And compared to their competition, they have more national and digital currencies and trading pairs than the likes of Coinbase, Revolut or Robinhood. As part of the new changes, they state here that you should also find that they're significantly less expensive on average than other household name crypto platforms. On smaller trades, they can be over 1000 BPS cheaper and that you'll feel the difference instantly. Plus, outside of all of this, and similar to a few other crypto exchanges, such as Crypto.com, they also have their Uphold card, which allows you to pay with the likes of crypto, gold, and many more, whilst earning 1% cash back and 2% crypto back so that you can spend Bitcoin and earn Bitcoin. And I'll take you through this option in another video once I receive my card. So let's jump into the walkthrough now. And to get started, you'll need to sign up or log into your account. When you sign up, they'll collect your legal name, date of birth and phone number. And this is to protect you from fraud and to keep their community safe. You don't have to verify your identity until you're ready to withdraw or send your funds to other people. But you can always do this earlier if you wish. Now I've already got an account so I'm going to head over to that now. But for those of you who don't, I'll pop a link in the summary below. And once you're signed into your account, for those of you who are familiar with Uphold, you'll see that the site has had a complete upgrade and you can now trade and track your portfolio all from a single place. The first screen that you'll reach is the Portfolio tab, which is highlighted on the left-hand side of the screen here. There's a list of scrolling assets available to trade at the top and we can view a list of any assets that we've added to the watch list here, showing their current price and change. And I'll show you how to add these in shortly. Then we have our recent activity underneath. In the center is where we can track our portfolio and view our balances per asset. Then on the far right hand side here, this is where we have our trading section, where you can trade from anything to anything. So if I click onto from here, You'll see that this is where I can set up bank accounts, add credit and debit cards, and buy our stocks and crypto too. So let's take a look at a quick example now. So if you wanted to buy Bitcoin with your bank account, simply click onto the plus sign besides bank and choose your bank currency. And then next, we're going to be selecting what we'd like to purchase with our bank account. And in this example, I said that I'd like to purchase Bitcoin. And it will then provide you with a list of instructions of where to send your funds. And it's really important here that you include the individual reference shown on your screen, as this is what will map your two accounts together. 
if this is the first time that you've used your bank account. You may also be requested to send some test funds of about £1. And you can deposit or transfer funds with 0% fees from your bank account. Then if we scroll down, at the bottom, it will show you your conversion or your rate in here. And as you can see, £1 equates to 0.000007 Bitcoin, which is fairly accurate to the type of conversions that you'll find over on Google. Now Uphold have moved to a commission-free pricing, meaning there's no complicated fee layers to contend with. The price that you see before you trade is the price that you pay when you trade. Unlike many competitors, they lock in and guarantee the price up front. But although there are no trading fees, Uphold isn't a free platform. They will charge a spread every time you convert one currency to another asset. And in the US and Europe, the spread is typically 0.8 to 1.2% on major cryptos such as Bitcoin, Ethereum and XRP. And in some parts of the world, their spread can even reach 1.8%. And there's different spreads for different types of commodities like 3% for precious metals and 0.2% for fiat and 1% for US equities. So the price you see before you trade is the price that you're going to be paying as the prices are locked in pre-trade. And you could also do the same here with not just Bitcoin or crypto, but also purchasing things such as the likes of metals like gold or silver. Or depending on your location, you may be able to purchase US equities if you're not on this really long list here. Which unfortunately does cover both the UK and US, which I know is the majority of you watching this and obviously includes myself here too. But heading back to our anything to anything, you can also convert crypto to crypto or crypto back to fiat. Plus you can also purchase with the likes of a credit or debit card in here too. Just be aware though, that if you're buying with a card, that your card provider will need to support the purchase of crypto, which I know a lot don't. And you'll also be charged 3.99% for these type of purchases. Now this isn't a way that I would personally buy my Bitcoin, as you will get far better prices using other methods. So let's take another look at exchanging anything to anything. So I've got some crypto in my Uphold wallet. And say for example, I want to actually convert this into a metal, like gold here. And then I can enter in the amount of my tokens I'd like to convert. Or I can type in the amount in my chosen fiat currency in here too. So when you're converting from the likes of a cryptocurrency across to a metal, it will show you any commission that you have in here. And as I said, that's at 0%. You can check out the rate. Then you can preview your trade which will then provide you with an overview before you go ahead and commit. Now, if you have purchased crypto on Uphold or if you've exchanged to a crypto, it's worth mentioning that similar to other trading platforms, such as the likes of Coinbase or eToro, which I've recently covered, you won't actually have access to your private keys. Therefore, you're entrusting a third party and have less control over your funds. So if you wanted to send these to an external wallet, such as the likes of a hardware wallet, like a Trezor or a Ledger, where you have complete control over your crypto with access to your private keys, then you can do so by selecting the token that you'd like to withdraw. And I've got some link tokens in here. Then in the to section, I'm gonna scroll down to the crypto networks and show more. And select Chainlink. And in here is where I can enter the address that I'd like to send these funds across to. Now, although there are no withdrawal fees, please be aware that you will need to pay the standard crypto network withdrawal fees to process this transaction. So let's take a look at some of the other features. So next we have the activity view. And this will display a list of your activities. You can also generate a report from here which will send you an email with a list of all your transaction history. When we select markets, 
there's a list of each different market available and you can search at the top and then view information for each asset, showing you how the price is tracked over certain periods of time and it'll show you the high and the low. And at the top here is where you can add this to your watch list, which will then appear over on that portfolio screen. Next up on the left hand side, you have integrations where you can choose to link your wallet to any of the third party apps here. And your mobile app will have the exact same functionality inbuilt and mirrors the web app. You have your portfolio tab, activity, your anything to anything or transact tab, the markets allowing you to view market data for any asset, and the more tab with your integrations and settings, etc. And in this way, you can buy and exchange and track your portfolio wherever you are. So that was my overview of the new Uphold web app. I think the platform is really user friendly and easy to use, and definitely a step up from their previous versions. And I'll look forward to seeing if they'll add the UK to the list of territories that can purchase those US equities. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step by step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.